Remember Open Interpreter? It's a project that lets you run large language models in various programming languages. It can be used to create different types of AI agents and deploy them so that they can accomplish any task autonomously as it controls your computer. It's a groundbreaking project that has now taken another leap forward in the AI space by launching this new project called O1 Lite. This is an open source personal AI agent device and the O1 Lite is basically this portable voice interface that controls your home computer. Computer. It can see your screen, use your apps, and learn new skills. You can clearly see that this is an open source competitor to Rabbit R1 and many other physical AI agent devices. This is only the beginning for O1 Lite, as this is something that will be developed further as they continuously upgrade, and this is something that is currently in the developer phase. So just keep that in mind. But throughout today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this further in detail, showcase how you can get started. But before we even get to that, just take a look at this demo video, which showcases the capabilities of it. For over a hundred years, humanity has imagined a computer that's as easy to interact with as a person. ChatGPT introduced the world to this technology and became the fastest growing consumer application of all time. Now, corporations around the world have started building closed source, artificially intelligent devices. Six weeks ago, we realized there was an opportunity to build an open source foundation with this next generation of computers, the Linux of this space. Something open, flexible, and free. An operating system with a language model at the center of it. I'm holding the first device powered by this operating system in my hand right now. It's called the O1. This is the O1 Lite, the first open source language model computer. You talk to it like a person, and it operates a computer to help you get things done. You can run the language model on your computer at home or in our server in the cloud, making the O1 Lite fully portable when connected to Wi-Fi or a hotspot. To use it, you just push, talk, and then it thinks and responds. Let me show you what it can do. When's the next sunny day? One moment. The next sunny day is on March 9th. Great. Am I doing anything on that day? Let me check your calendar. You have no events scheduled for March 9th. So because the O1 is operating my personal computer at home, I didn't need to set up my calendar. It can just use it. Nice. Can you see if there are any concerts in Seattle on that day? Yes, you have several options. Option one, Bad Bunny will be performing at the Climate Pledge Arena. That's perfect. Can you add that to my calendar and then copy and paste a link to the ticket into the calendar event? And then actually, if you could text page the link and say something like, hey, do you want to go to this? Concert is on your calendar and page has been texted. Awesome, thanks. You're welcome. By the way, you've just received an email from Mike asking about your progress on an article. Would you like to respond to it now? So I need to send that file to Mike, but it's on my computer at home. Hey, that article should be on my desktop. It's called the Universal Interface. There's a file titled the Universal Interface.pdf on your desktop. Do you want me to send it to Mike? Now, at this point, I could ask my light to read or even edit that document, but I'm just going to send it to Mike. Yes, please send it. The document has been emailed to Mike. Great. So you can kind of think of the O1 light 
as like a smart person that's in front of your computer. How could that be useful? Let's head back now and I'll show you something even bigger. This is my laptop and it's the one that the light has been operating. Out of the box, it's pretty good at using my computer, but it can't do everything. So let's teach it to use a desktop application that it's never seen. Hey, I wanna teach you something. Sounds good. What do you wanna teach me to do? I'm gonna show you how to send a Slack message. Okay, I'm ready. What's the first step? First, open Slack. It looks like Slack is open. Did I do that right? Yeah, you did. Great, what's next? Hit Command K. Done. Did I do that correctly? Yeah, that worked. Okay, now type out the name of the recipient, like, for example, Ty, then press Enter. Done. Let me know if I did that right. Yes, you did. Now, I want you to click on the text box at the bottom that says Message Tie. I've clicked the text box. Did I do that right? Yeah, you did. Okay, now you can write the message. For example, Hey Ty, then press Enter. It looks like I've sent the message. Is that right? Yes, and that's all there is to this skill, so you can save it now. Sure thing. I've just learned the skill send a Slack message. So you can do this with any workflow, any desktop application, or even a pipeline of applications and websites without setting up any authentication. It just uses your computer. But here's where it gets interesting. Okay, now I want you to monitor my email. If you get any invoices, could you take a look at the attachments and then Slack all the relevant details to Mike? your inbox for invoices. If I see one, I'll slack the details to Mike. Now, days later, when I get an invoice, which I'll test just by emailing one of myself, it will slack it to Mike and let me know about it. I just sent a Slack message to Mike with the basic information of the invoice. That was the O1 Lite. You can pre-order one today for $99, and the one you get won't require a computer. You'll be able to use it as a standalone device that taps into our hosted service. But developers can get their hands on this right now. We are releasing the O1 Lite, the O1 Server, and the O1 OS developer previews today. The software, CAD files, wiring diagrams, everything you need to make an O1 light in an afternoon so you can build your own personal or commercial AI devices tomorrow. I want you to imagine a world with doctors that fit in your pocket, smart toys that talk and teach, companions, Pokédexes, and robots, all running in an open ecosystem with shared protocols and innovations the Cambrian explosion of AI devices. In the next few weeks, we're going to release an open source language model for computer control, an app for your phone, and a handheld device that runs fully offline. If you wanna build this future together, talk to me and thousands of other energized developers in our rapidly growing O1 community. Let's accelerate together. I'll see you there. Now that was just truly amazing.
And we can see that this is quite similar to Rabbit R1, but they're basically taking the open source field. Now they're working on creating an open source large language model that will be used for computer control and expanding on the capabilities of the O1 Lite agent. Now, if you are to go over to their new repo for O1 Lite, you can see that this is something that will allow you to take a look at the repo, which will help you build an open source ecosystem for AI devices with the O1 project. It's their flagship operating system that can basically power conversational devices like Rabbit R1, Human Pin, or even Star Trek computer. So they basically developed the software for it as well as having it so that you can then transfer it over to the hardware which will be used afterwards to do various sorts of things as you saw in the video. And at this current moment we can see that the O1 project is exposed with a speech-to-speech -speech WebSocket, you're able to stream raw audio bytes. You can even have it so that you can talk to your computer basically so that it can execute various tasks as a personal AI assistant. So it will take control of your computer and it will execute these different tasks using their large language model. Now, in my opinion, I don't think that it would be smart to, like obviously if you're interested, you can try it out, but I think it's best to like wait it out a couple more months until they added more capabilities because it's kind of new at the moment. I would wait for their large language model that comes out and that way it'd be better used for computer control and this would give you more functionality as this current moment it's only used as like a voice control system that lets you execute various tasks but that's basically it for today's video on this o1 project by the open interpreter team this is definitely an amazing new project with an open source sense of mind and i truly believe that this is something that many people should take a look at in the description below i believe that you can buy this currently like the physical product on their website right now it's like around a hundred dollars it's something that i might potentially try out i've ordered the rabbit r1 so this is something that i'm also going to be taking a look at on this channel so definitely stay tuned this is a great step forward in the open source field as well as in just in general in the ai space but I hope you enjoyed this video and got some sort of value out of it. Make sure to check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you haven't already. This is also another great way where I'm feeding you guys with AI information. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.